وَقَدْ خَلَقَكُمْ أَطْوَارًا And He's the one that already created you in stage after stage. Tawr means stage. Atwar means you, you were babies and you were adults and you've matured so much. He's the one that did that for you. أَلَمْ تَرَوْ كَيْفَ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ سَبْعَ سَمَوَاتٍ طِبَاقًا Haven't you taken a look and reflected how Allah created seven skies, one on top of the other in layers? وَجَعَلَ الْقَمَرَ فِيهِنَّ نُورًا And in those skies Allah placed, within them He placed a light. وَجَعَلَ الشَّمْسَ سِرَاجًا Meaning the moon first, and then He placed the sun as a lamp. وَاللَّهُ أَنْبَتَكُمْ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ نَبَاتًا And Allah is the one who caused from the earth all kinds of things to sprout for you. أَنْبَتَكُمْ نَبَاتًا All kinds of things to sprout for you. ثُمَّ يُعِيدُكُمْ فِيهَا then He's the one who brings it out, He returns it back to you from within it. Meaning the plants sprout and they give seeds and you put the seed back in and it brings it back to more produce. He keeps giving you more and more out of the same food. وَيُخْرِجُكُمْ إِخْرَاجًا And He continuously brings things out for you. وَاللَّهُ جَعَلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضَ بِسَاطَ And He leveled the earth down for you and made it easy for you to walk on. لِتَسْلُكُمْ مِنْهَا سُبُلًا فِجَاجًا So that you can pursue from it all kinds of paths and go through all kinds of valleys. Fijaj means, you know, open space between two, two mountains. You know, otherwise it's hard to tread uh, you know, that path. And he opened those roadways for you. قَالَ نُوحُ الرَّبِّ إِنَّهُمْ عَصَوْنِي Nuh alayhi salam, subhanAllah continues. So it's a, this, this part was all, it's still continuously still. It's a conversation between Allah and Nuh and Nuh is talking alayhi salam. Nuh is saying, I said this to them, I said this to them, I said this to them. All the things you taught me to tell them, I told them. I tried to remind them publicly, privately, in council settings, in family settings, all these settings I exhausted. And then Allah says, go back and says, and then finally Nuh said, Rabb, my master, innahum asawni, they have disobeyed me. Now the past tense is, yud asawni, they've disobeyed me. Not ya'asunani, they disobey me. Which means, he's done with them. Is done, Ya Rabb. What tabaru? And they have followed. Malam yazidhu maluhu wa waladuhu illa khasara. They have followed someone who cannot increase them in wealth, nor can he increase them in children, except in more loss. That's the only thing that they can increase in now. Wa makaru makran kubara. And they made a huge plot against him. They made a huge plot against, you know, undermining his efforts. And it seems the closer he got to building the ark, the more intense his dawa became. And so they started seeing some effect of his call and the warning, you know, because you can, can imagine if he's got only a one or two days worth of work left, he's really scared for these people. So he's going out of his way to warn them now like never before. So some people are getting a little shaken and they're being pulled towards him and the leaders of their tribe see that. So they made a new plan and their plan was to make people feel like if they accept Nuh's call, not only are they dumb, because they would think that the messengers, they're crazy people, etc. Don't follow a crazy person. But actually they will make people feel like they're traitors. That they're abandoning the, the expectations of their elders. That they're an embarrassment to their family legacy. That sort of line of reasoning. So they said, وَقَالُوا لَا تَذَرُنَّ آلِهَتَكُمْ Don't you dare leave your gods, they said. They went around making a, another, a counter da'wah. وَلَا تَذَرُنَّ وَدًّا Don't you dare abandon wad. One of the names of their false gods. وَلَا سُوَا And don't leave سُوَاعًا وَلَا يَهُوثُ Don't leave Yahuth and Ya'uq وَنَصْرُ These are names of their gods. They called them by name. So they could scare people and say, You're gonna leave Yahuth? You're gonna leave Nasr after all he's done for you? Have you forgotten his powers? Don't you think the, the curse will come on you, etc., etc.? So they, would, they, they went on this, you know, this huge campaign to undermine the call of, of uh, Nuh alayhi salam. And it worked. وَقَدْ أَضَلُّوا كَثِيرًا And they misguided a lot of people. They were able to get a lot of people to stay. وَلَا تَزِدَ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا ضَلَالًا And this, these, these, these guides, these misguides, these idols were not able to increase wrongdoers in anything except even more misguidance. مِمَّا خَطِئَاتِهِمْ Because of the kinds of mistakes they made, أُغْرِقُوا They were drowned. فَأُدْخِلُوا نَارًا Then they were thrown into the fire. Then they were entered into fire. Allah tortured this nation with water and then with fire. The horrors of water and then the horrors of fire. فَلَمْ يَجِدُوا لَهُمْ 
then they didn't find anybody for themselves, min dunillah, against Allah, anybody other than Allah, ansaran, any sort of helpers. وَقَالَ نُوحٌ And Nuh alayhi salam said, Rabbi la tadhar. Master, don't leave behind. La tadhar ala al-ard. Don't leave anyone on the earth. On the planet earth. Don't leave anyone. Min al-kafirin. From the disbelievers. The yara. Not a single home. Not a single residence of a disbeliever should remain. Ya Allah, wipe them out entirely. How much must they have tested the patience of Nuh alayhi salam for him to say this? لا تذر على الأرض من الكافرين ذيارا إنك إن تذرهم يا يا رب I know from experience no doubt about it if you were to leave them spare any one of them you did لو عبادك they will not only be misguided themselves that's bad enough they'll misguide other slaves you know where his where his anger is coming from they'll misguide other slaves he's at the very end of his career he's trying to save people and they go on a misguiding Allah slaves campaign. Allah says these, Nuh Aysam says these are the worst of the worst. Don't leave any of them. They are a source of trouble. وَلَا يَلِدُوا إِلَّا فَاجِرًا كَفَّارًا And they won't give birth to anyone except someone engrossed in sin, fajr. Extremely sinful. Impulsively sinful. And extremely ungrateful, kafara. رَبِّ اغْفِرْ لِي Master, forgive me. So you know, Allah doesn't even mention the punishment here because Rasul Aysam knows the punishment. But this is the du'a Nuh alayhi salam made. And this is the du'a Rasul alayhi salam is reciting in salat. He's reciting Quran, he's reciting this du'a. But he's not only thinking about the people of Nuh, is he? When he's reciting this du'a, who's he thinking about? Quraysh. If he makes a du'a somewhere in this neighborhood, some, something like this, what happens next? Subhanallah. <laughs> Subhanallah. The Messenger والسلام, when we call him Rahmatan lil Alameen, we call him mercy. He had precedent before him. Allah told him, You be patient. Just try to find a way to be patient. Ignore the ignorant things they're saying and the tortures they're doing and the crimes they're committing. Because if you, when your messenger makes dua, it's done. It's over. And so this messenger makes dua, Rabbi Fili, Master forgive me. Wali wali dayya, and forgive both of my parents. Wali man dakhala baytiya mu'minan. And forgive the one who enters my house as a believer. وَلِلْ مُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ And forgive the believing men and the, forgive the believing women. وَلَا تَزِدْ And my master, don't increase. أَوْوَالِمِينَ Don't give any increase to wrongdoers. Except إِلَّا إِن تَبَارًا Tabar means الْكَسْرُ وَالْحَلَاقِ Break them, destroy them. The only thing they should have more of is destruction and collapse. That's the only thing that I want you to increase them in. Forgive us and completely annihilate them. This surah is right after Surah Al-Ma'arij. Right after. When the Messenger is told, فَاصْبِرْ صَبْرًا جَمِيلًا إِنَّهُمْ يَرَوْنَهُ بَعِيدًا وَنَرَاهُ قَرِيبًا You just be patient. And then the story of patience. Nuh alayhi salam. And even the most patient human being in the end, he caves and he says, well, don't leave any one of them go. Don't let any one of them go.